Last time on Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Delicious. <laughs> Immediately. There it is. Straight uh -huh. The delicious scent of mid-evening dinner permeated through the air. Then, a soft light shone faintly in the distance. Yes, right. Is he going to say dinner time? <laughs> please, please say I'm, dinner time. Please. <laughs> so what time was it exactly? Oh, my God. Come on, game. Please, Deliver. don't let us down. Yes! yes! Dinner time. <laughs> Where else would the scent of dinner be in the air if not dinner time? Do you see? <laughs> yes! yes! I heard something in the bell tower when we went to apprehend the witch. What did you hear? Um, was it an incantation? No, it wasn't an incantation. Yes, sobbing or perhaps wailing. Um. Ee! Eek! Ee! She sounded a. <laughs> that's, that's a very. Okay. That's not the noise you want to hear <laughs> during <laughs> evening dinner time. <laughs> it sounded a bit like hinges in need of some white grease. Is it? Oh, Taylor. It was most likely this. This mechanism is on the middle floor of the bell tower. Silly. That contraption serves a very specific function. The plan of the bell tower shows no stairs leading up to the belfry. Now, if you think about it in relation to the plan, it's obvious what this contraption is for. Yeah, it teleports people to the Shadow Realm. It's a mechanism enabling access up to the belfry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Did you see that? It lit up for like... A second. Yeah, it did, but it was only one gem. What gifts? Nothing's happening. Uh, what exactly did you expect? The gems must be lit simultaneously. Do you know, and I bet this is where Leighton's gonna come in, because obviously, um, Espella is the storyteller's daughter, mm -hmm. right? So I bet it's a, it's a two-part key. You failed to prove your theory. In one go. And so, the accused's fate has been decided. Accused. The trial has reached its conclusion. Court shall now announce its verdict. You are the great witch, and your true name is Bazella. Does the accused have anything to say? Yes, I am Bazella, the one that brought calamity upon this town. <gasps> oh, shock. <laughs> shock. Gasp. Blimey. Hello, dear friends, and welcome. I join you all from a rolling green field <laughs> and a blue sky underneath an oak tree. I hope you are all having a fine day as I join you here from... Wordsmith! What the heck? What are you... What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I... Uh, did I... I seem to have wandered into the... Incorrect place. Would you care for some dinner? No, 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 <laughs> dinner. Go. Absolutely go. not. Please, no. This lady Ew, is taken. No. <laughs> She's married. <laughs> that never stopped not, me I was going to say, not that that stops him usually. Am I right, <laughs> gamers? <laughs> just as my dear father, Mr. Wordsmith, said, Mr. Wordsmith, just because there is a goalie does not mean you cannot score. <laughs> oh, <see>. a goalie. <laughs> I was like, goalies are weird way to refer see. to somebody, but okay. <laughs> that we are disillusioned plays playing yeah. Professor Layton <laughs> versus Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, yes. where we play the games and clearly do the voices. We do. Yeah. I'm Taylor. <laughs> I'm Pete. And I'm Sarah, <laughs> who nice. is taken up married. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Jesus. <laughs> so, let's uh, hop on in. <laughs> I like how it started out as like, you know, Wordsmith's meditative hour <laughs> and then turned into <laughs> sexual advice with Wordsmith. <laughs> uh. Body and mind are one, are they not? <laughs> Just like me and your mother last oh! night. <laughs> oh, we're not even five minutes in. <laughs> Neither Same was I. with your mother last night. <laughs> Oh my god. Got it. Phoenix, can you please, can you please? I'm please? sure I did it right. Which is also what <laughs> I said. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. No, I think what you meant to say is, I'm sure I did it right. Oh. Right? 
<laughs> yes. God. Well, no, I can't make that joke anymore. I have been. Oh, that's yes, right. you can. Well, he can make it precisely one time, and he's <laughs> and he's not done it yet. <laughs> um, nothing's happening. Uh oh. Ah! Ooh. Oh, that's a noise. That's, oh, I need some WD-40 for that. Hey, that needs some oil. <laughs> it's a bit of oil. A bit of greasing. This... This sound... It's a stepladder. Oh, oh, whoa. It's a ladder, Nick. Whoa. Ooh. What, what is this? Are, oh. we, are we about to go into the Digiverse? Oh. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, wow. Elaborate. Very intricate. This... This is... What an astounding contraption! Mmm. <laughs> oh, uh, whew, whew. I wasn't sure I was going to get back from my line in time. Mmm. <laughs> what do we have here? It's still no comparison to the incomparable astoundingness of Mother Nature. I just, I just, or your I just, mother. I just, <laughs> I just want to imagine he's just floating. He's not stood on he's the not, bell tower. No. He's just floating. He just it does like, look like he's floating. He just like he just floated on up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like um, did you, the smithing of words grants many powers. <laughs> I am but a scent on the wind. Hello. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, uh, that clam of those oh my God, Boxy. Down, girl! <laughs> Taylor, try and calm yourself. <laughs> mm. Behave. I'd like to climb on top of those stairs. Climb up those uh, stairs. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's all Sarah's, going to my Sarah's head. Sarah's just like, I want to just keep reading this as much as possible. Mm. <laughs> I'd like to climb up those stairs. I like being on top. The top. <laughs> <laughs> Why just, shall I escort just, you? <laughs> I bet just you will. Let me, get a sip of, let me get a sip of water here. <laughs> Tay? I'm not gonna. <laughs> it's shaky, fell over. Yes, I know he did. Yeah, I... that's you, Sarah. Yeah, I did it. I... <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, Nick. Let's go see what's upstairs. I'm... That's what your brother said. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't sort of go. Make bit... sure that Miss Foxy goes first, please. It's a bit. <laughs> it's, a... it's a bit cramped up here with all the vigilantes as well. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, isn't this a bell? Well, this bell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, Maya, it is a bell. <laughs> Thank you. Look, well done. Look, I can't be held responsible for the like failings of my voice actress. Okay. No, 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 no. no. It's like I can't be held responsible for the fact that I can't really see anything out out of this helmet. Well, that, that's Maya's excuse. Yes. I haven't got one. Identifying well, bell by Maya Faye. <laughs> you know, yep, that's a bell. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave right now. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave on the wind. Yeah, I think you're right. That is a bell. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. Jeez, you made that's one the... wrong move. <laughs> oh, that's the bell that was taken from the underground. The bell of ruin. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. The <laughs> The bell that must not be sounded and as Maya there. slowly <laughs> reaches out. Yeah. Oh. I wasn't gonna hit it. She's like, got, she's got the little, she's got a little gavel, and she's like, de she's gavel. really determined. Gasp! <gasps> Nick, there's someone hiding behind the bell. Oh, there is. Who's this? Oh, Kira. Oh, it's Kira. Kira. Ah. Okay. Nope. Oh. It's you. Now that's the last person I expected to find here. Okay then. Mm. Like completely ignoring. Yes, we we know that there was that moment, but uh, uh, hmm. Kira. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Does well, everyone think she's dead? Well, did she cast the spell then? Oh, oh dang oh, it! Dang oh, it. oh well, my God! Oh, so. Dang it! Oh, we were so close. Guess we'll have to find out. Are next we, are week, we switching everyone. over to Layton now? I'm gonna be upset. Uh, <laughs> I think you know. Probably. Yes, yes we want we do. to save. Jeez. <laughs> My God. Oh. Yep. oh God, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got his own cage and everything. <clears throat> it's so quiet in here. There's not a sound to be heard. 
Let's be very careful, though, Luke. The puzzle we just dealt with is not necessarily the only one in place here. Right you are, Professor. Let's proceed with caution. You mean I shouldn't run headlong into that cage? I, <laughs> I would advise against it, for sure. But it worked out for me the last time. Oh. <laughs> hand coin. Hand coin. And then hand coin again. The one on top of the cage? I suppose the oh, less no. hint coins the more remind us of where the hell we are in the interrogation coin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't quite understand what good it does to have a tower this high. See, I wonder if this is if, if we've gone back in time a little bit as well. Like I wonder if obviously the tri like maybe it's not literally they haven't literally got to the top of the bell tower and now we've switched over. I yeah, suspect it's this running is running alongside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, wait. tell that to Sauron, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Without this lift it appears as if reaching the very top would be quite impossible. Okay, and... That's horrible for fire safety. Mm. Where's the other... Come on, Ink Coin! Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, calm down. Like, no! You sound like Leighton when oh, he's no. presented with puzzles. I was going to say, that's Leighton turns into the court <laughs> illustrator when he can't find <laughs> it. <laughs> no, the court illustrator is more like, No! Release the princess! Princess! <laughs> It appears the chain is connected to the upper section. I gather it must be of considerable strength. I wonder just how much this chain is capable of pulling. Almost as much as wordsmith, I imagine. He's <laughs> quite the man. <laughs> also, I've heard. He's uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's on the floor. There we go. We got it. We got it. There we yes. Go. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes, the floor, because it is what, Sarah? I'm not indulging you. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I mean, do you see it on that mural on the grass there? Do you see? Do you see? Do is you this... see? Is this what I think it is? It, it looks like a lift. Is that? Do, do you know what that means, Taylor? A lift. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. What's it lifting? What? <laughs> well, it's a people lift, isn't it? People lift. Oh, it's a people. What? What are you calling a lift? <laughs> Well, yeah. It's in ups, surely. <laughs> Indeed it does. It looks a lot like the kind of lift with which we are well acquainted. What, you take a lot of you take a lot of cages up in, in towers, Leighton? You freaking you playing some bloodborne recently? You know, I mean so there's two things here. One, it could be because like in Labyrinthia there's I mean, maybe it's fairly common, but also I'm not super familiar with the Leighton games, honestly. Mm. I haven't actually properly played I've I've played a bit of the first one. Not through not wanting to, just not having the time and whatnot. Like we'll mm. we, we might get to them. Who knows? Maybe they go up these sorts of lifts quite frequently. Maybe. But well, there you go, oh, Pete. Okay. That's just you shot down if right I there. I've just read the line, right? <laughs> well, actually, I think you'll find it's my line. Yeah, well, there you go. If I do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we haven't seen anything else like this since we arrived. Uh, 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 Alive okay. in Ravalinthia. Um, <laughs> I like to imagine that Luke is just like scuffing his feet, like, <laughs> he kicks a rock down into the gap. Well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Luke wouldn't do anything more serious than that because he's a true gentleman. I am indeed. But, but, let me start again. But we, we haven't seen anything else like this since we arrived in Labyrinthia. I nearly did it again. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not sorry. I wasn't trying to laugh. Just, where are you? Just... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go over here. I'm I gonna know. go cry in a corner. I know, Sarah. This is this is what it's like when you're working with a profess a professional voice actor. I know. I know. Oh, I know. The, it's yeah. really okay. these working yeah, conditions, the bad right? Guy. When we're the am Duh. we are the amateurs, and so. I say you actually have been paid for work, Taylor. So technically, <laughs> technically, you are the. You are a professional. The fact that explorer. one person's taken pity upon me. <laughs> Oh, Taylor. <laughs> anyway, yes, quite. In truth, I don't think machinery of this sort exists. I didn't think machinery of oh, this God, sort existed catchy. here. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what it's using as a source of power. Well, since there seems to be no other way up, does that mean we get to ride it? You seem quite excited by that prospect, Luke. <laughs> Indeed. That would seem the most logical course of action. 
I must say, I find the presence of such a device most <laughs> intriguing. Well, don't you do? And I just like to but, imagine, like, it is Dark Souls, right? And then what happens is that the cage just actually plunges into a lake of it fire. Goes down. Oh, and it's just God. like, you died. <laughs> well, well, like, surely Because that would be the sort of thing they have a fake lift. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure, is that not the thing you go into when you go down to fight the Four Kings, right? Under, no, it's in the. Underneath um, Firelink Shrine? The well, there is that one, but no, there's. I remember there is a trap elevator in the. I'm not, um, I, guess, yeah, I wasn't referring to a trap. Anyway, elevator. anyway, moving on, moving on. <laughs> but we can't stand around pondering such things now. There will be time for that later. Onwards and upwards, my boy. And then the elevator goes down. Yeah. <laughs> the, the storyteller tries to recall when the last time that lift was surfaced. <laughs> <laughs> Probably within the last century. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a massive stack of info, of like reminder notices on his desk. <laughs> it's like, yes, yes, later, later. Right then, let's go. I know I keep saying this, Luke, but <laughs> bear in mind that we must proceed with caution. I'm with you on that one, Professor. All right. It's, oh, God, it's quite cramped in here, isn't it? Well, I'm only small. <laughs> but you take up so much room. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, oh, no. Uh, professor? Yeah, now, see, this is the sort of thing that, you know, happens in nightmares. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go up and then plummet. <laughs> well, it's more that, like, they, they, they've stopped and there's no, there's no, like, controls. There's no lever there's or no, anything. They're just no stuck. Yeah. yeah. Professor, we stopped. What's going on here? Are we trapped? I think we know, guys. It's going to be a puzzle, isn't it? <laughs> no. I don't believe so, Luke. Although, I do get the feeling that something is about to happen. And the sound of... Do you, do you hear the sound of spinning saw blades? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, well, I was trying not to hear it, And but... grinding metal and uh, chains and... Oh, professor! <laughs> Something, Professor? What do you mean by something? I think, and as the buzzsaw gets closer, I think we're about to be banished to the Shadow Realm, my boy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no one could... Oh, no. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Luke, stand close to me. He's already clinging to his leg. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and then the knives start to slowly come out from the bottom of the ledge. Oh, Jesus. We have four turns. Tower of Teller. Okay, 30 out of 30 per carrots. I guess I am going to need my mouse and everything. Guess so. <laughs> uh, one sec. Pete, famously tempting fate. Oh, I won't need my mouse today. Well, I thought we were going to We're be... in the court section. Yeah, we were, doing the, yeah, we were doing the court bit, and I'm like, well, I can just do that all with the controller. I don't need the uh, slightly more precise input, but okay. Yep. Oh, is it the gargoyles are going to come and bite you? No, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, the owl of Hoot, doom. hoot, mother flipper. <laughs> A stone statue stands before. Or actually, I guess it'll do. A stone statue stands before you. <laughs> Beneath it lies a panel with what appears to have once been a crest of some kind, now a disjointed mess. Move the panels by touching the arrows that connect them, and rearrange the pieces so that the crest is correctly displayed. Okay. Okay. And it's a slidey puzzle, Pete's favorite. Oh, I love slidey puzzles. <laughs> I really, really, really love slidey puzzles. I'm getting the feeling that he doesn't actually like slidey puzzles. No, he and we doesn't. only have four turns to do it. Does it Oof. like? Does it come closer if we? Don't? Oh, that's stinky! Where's the? Where? Oh, there we go. No, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna crumble the thing beneath us. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, do I have to just click on the little? It's all right, I'm just curious what it's gonna do. <laughs> oh, professor! I think it's getting closer. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, oh no! That, it smacks us. <laughs> okay, right. Hang on. So that needs to come here, and this. Oh no! Sorry, that needs to go there. The, the crest is on the left, by the way, that you're trying to build. I, so if you need it for reference. I know. I'm a dumb dumb. So it's yeah. This one. One. Two. Uh, three. And four. Oh yeah. That's it. There we go. Oh, right. nicely done. Actually, quite easy. It's not. Oh, a no. oh. <laughs> I, hmm, I think I've got this one. Well done, 
Professor? Mm, a nice little warm-up. <laughs> a little appetizer. <laughs> We're eating good Correct. tonight, folks. <laughs> you can sense the approaching presence of a formidable foe in the shadows. What? Oh, no. More st stone owls. No, five stone owls. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Whoa. we saw it Damn. again. <laughs> it, would seem, it would seem this entire lift is in itself another puzzle. I don't believe we're in the clear just yet. This may take a while. I missed the first one. Darn. I really should have used the restroom before we stepped on the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, just peer over the edge. <laughs> well, he stopped again. Another stage of the puzzle? Oh, is it going to be like, hmm, indeed. That would appear to be the case. I'll take on this one, Professor. Alright, but don't overexert yourself. We'll need to work together to solve the rest of this puzzle. Roger that. Yeah, so I was going to say, it wasn't actually like a proper sliding puzzle. Oh, here we go. Yeah, just slightly more compact. <laughs> Says Pete once again. Foreshadowing. No, no. The storyteller, no, no, no. having heard the hubris I mean, the individual playing the I mean, game. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I appreciate you making a joke, but that, that it isn't a sliding piece puzzle. It's a, it's like a swap over. Mm. And I'm like making hand gestures that you can't see. Oh, no, it's a dwagon. Oh, it's a bigger one. A dwagon. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, 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 storyteller, we know. <laughs> but like, <laughs> well, but like, yeah, so, quite rude. so you don't literally, dragon you don't literally, oh my God, <laughs> you don't literally I'm sorry, slide is it, it's, them is around. It, it's okay. annoying when you're interrupted in the middle of saying something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, what up? Oh, that actually is pretty easy. Yeah. It's a wonder that no one else managed to get up this tower. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, mm, wait. wait a minute. I think, <laughs> I think I've got I this I one. I asked to do this one, <laughs> Professor. Uh, well, <clears throat> Luke, Luke, Luke. I just if there's something that involves you being chased by a statue, I assure you, you will be on the top of my oh, list to solve well, the puzzle. Oh, well, thank you very much. I mean, technically, Professor, this was a statue, and it technically was coming closer, so you could class that as chasing... In yes. my opinion. But honestly, Luke, I thought I, I thought that what you'd really like is a good old challenge. So I thought I'd take on this one just for now, so that you can take on a more something a little bit more, something that might tease your brain a little bit more, give you, you a bit more of a workout. You don't trust me, do you, Professor? No. Honestly, <clears throat> Luke, I'm hurt. I'm <laughs> well, hurt so that you're correct. <laughs> You've come a long way. Keep it up. That's just because the elevator's well, like... Professor that's Professor Layton keeps stealing yeah. my puzzles We've that I specifically <laughs> asked to solve. We've only come a long way because the elevator shaft's so high. Okay. Here we go again. I did it, Professor! <laughs> Technically, you, you did it. You certainly did. Well done, Luke. Yeah, well... But we're still I get the feeling that that, yet, that, that was just an error. Like, they should have used the just file for Luke's... So well, going? judging by all the stages thus far, whoever put this puzzle in place is certainly keen that we don't reach the top easily. We still can't afford to let our guard down. Sorry, Taylor. We can't stop this dialogue. <laughs> you just gonna have to wait to do your hilarious funny. Oh, we stopped again. Taylor, you now have permission to do your hilarious funny. I forget what it was. Oh, well... Guess we're gonna have to move on. <laughs> oh, God. Well then, al <laughs> allow me to take on this one. Well, just what I will really be one. interested to see is if is if they like accidentally have Luke's solving animation play for this yeah, one. Yeah, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? All right, fifty per carat, so it's a bit more difficult this time. We're gonna get this. To oh no! Oh, it's a big well, the previous two were too easy, did you? <laughs> well, it's a big oh, ball. <laughs> okay, ball that's fine. No, that's that's okay. I didn't want to read the bit. Enjoy the symbols. <laughs> oh, he has got sad. Uh, let's see. But the storyteller's dead. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> okay, so I think that one. Oh. This one. Wow, he gets some hang time on that jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hang time. <laughs> then this one. This one. Then this one and this one. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. The little hints thing flashing away. Hmm. I think <laughs> I'm better than my small boy sister. What am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> it does seem that way. <laughs> Poor Luke. I'm not even going to bother asking next time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It's going to be funny as if there's an another one and then he takes puzzle. another turn and it does yeah. it again. The next stop must be your destination. I think you're probably right, Luke. One day Taylor will realise we can't skip this. Well, this is it, Professor. It seems we've arrived at last. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we are like. Well, it's uh, very pretty, isn't are we, it? Are we at, like the freaking Angel Islands or something? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, this is certainly different. There are flowers and plants everywhere. I can even see a water wheel over there. It is a beautiful place. Ooh, this evening breeze is a little chilly. Yeah, I bet it is. That's bit... because we're five miles up in the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so you, there's nothing to stop the wind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three kilometers. I'm sorry. What's a kilometer, Taylor? You're going to have to tell. Let me know. <laughs> so, is this the storyteller's garden then? Not a very bright one, is he? <laughs> I think that's probably a safe assumption, Luke. Judging by the abundance of water and rose bushes, it's being well taken care of. I'd be inclined to say the tower seems more akin to a castle. Who'd have imagined we'd have ended up in a beautiful place like this? Let's investigate. Okay, then. Now, where's the hint coins? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha One here. And, yep. There's what always, the I guess, if there's a tower, you can bet, you can be, you can, you know. Bet your bottom dollar there's going to be one. Bet there. your you ass. Can, you can bet the thing. You can, you can do the, oh, whatever. <laughs> you all right there, Taylor? He's just grumpy because yeah, I told him off for talking over the thing that, we, oh. over the lines that we can't, uh, we couldn't pause on. Oh. No. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> then maybe don't talk over the stuff we can't skip. That we, that, that's like unskippable. Mummy and Daddy were talking, Taylor. <laughs> oh. Don't talk over all your dialogue bits. <laughs> Amazingly, it appears the structure was recently adorned with flowers and kept in rather good repair. I bet a spell a shawl must have been... <clears throat> so why was that went wrong? Hey, so... <laughs> You sharp, you. <laughs> yes, professional. Look, I'm, I'm a filthy casual, all right? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I bet a spell of Sean must have had quite the comfortable life back when she used to live here. Makes you wonder why I don't know. Met. I mean, I feel like having to play in a place where accidentally tumbling over the edge just sends you to a certain well, doom. Well, yeah. you'd, you'd imagine there'd be like a fence around it or something, right? A magical barrier. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, I guess. Or just a normal cast iron fence. All that. <laughs> that sounds a bit more boring when you put it that way. Yeah, I, I mean, I suppose it does, but... This must be where the water that surrounds the tower is turned into mist. Right, Professor? I wonder if it's... I wonder if this is what is creating a veil of mist over the garden. Well, I just asked you that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I, I, definitely, I definitely know. Mm-hmm. I don't think Labyrinthia will have to worry about water shortages anytime soon, that's for sure. It does make you wonder where all this water up here is coming from. Rainwater, obviously. I imagine it must have been quite important to develop a technique for drawing water up to such a height. If only we'd advance the text, right? Okay. Yeah, that that's that's gotta be uh yeah. A little expensive. Imagine calling a plumber. Imagine <laughs> imagine the call the calls to the plumber. It's like, yes, <clears throat> yes, there's another clog, yes. I need the drain snaked. Yeah, yeah. So, 
It's a little bit difficult. You're going to have to go up the elevator in the middle. Yes, it looks evil, I know, I know. Go up the elevator, solve the first puzzle, the second puzzle, and then the third puzzle. Just be very careful that you solve them correctly, or the statues will... Hello? Oh. Squish you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Damn! <laughs> oh, for God's sake, no freaking labyrinthia again! <laughs> oh! That flipping storyteller! <laughs> He's got more money than since that guy, I swear. I flipping swear. <laughs> I was done on doing unblocking the last cloud he asked me to look at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also just amused I'm amusing myself with I swear, I flipping swear. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't swear. <laughs> yeah, that's the joke. I know. <laughs> this building is really something else. I guess this part must be the storyteller's house. Spella must have lived here when she was younger. Yes, hmm. indeed. This must have been her family home. Hmm. Her family. I wonder if she had any plans to ever come back here. No matter where she goes or what she does, family is family. This will always be her home. I'd, I'd say it's highly likely that she should wish to come back here someday. Mm. I suppose so. Even if her family was only the two of them. The relationship between a speller and her father may well prove to be an important clue. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Huh? What's the matter, Luke? Oh, it's nothing. Well, I'm probably seeing things, but for a moment there, I thought I saw something moving at the top of the tower. Huh. Sorry, it must have just been my imagination. Let's go inside, Professor. It's Ezio <laughs> getting ready to dive into the <laughs> <laughs> hmm. The eagle circling above on the uh, to mark out that it's a uh, a viewpoint for you. <laughs> Child's room. Okay. Zoom. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Very colourful. Straight from outside into this. Okay. That's a bit weird. This appears to be a child's room. It certainly looks that way. From its condition, I'd say it hasn't been used for some time. Presumably, it was used by a speller as a child. Right. So this is where a speller grew up. Something pretty big must have happened to make her leave home so young. I wonder how Espella and the storyteller used to get on together. Espella is a young lady of strong conviction and a kind heart. I'm certain that's I'm certain that's because she grew up within a mm. fine homest environment. In other words, I'm sure she and her father must have spent some quality time here together. I feel, so, feel yeah, like I Clayton, fortunate. you're making a whole Whole lot of assumptions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll have a feeling you're right about that. For a speller, this place must be full of precious memories. I must feel we're intruding coming in here like this. Well, don't you worry, Luke. I'll be sure to look around all of the room in your stead. Oh. Yeah, they're going to find her bittersweet secrets. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> but, Luke, we have no choice if we wish to save a speller. Yes, I suppose that's true. When you put it like that, I guess she wouldn't mind even if she knew. So, let us snoop around. <laughs> the paintings on the wall certainly give this room a rather charming feel. Uh, oh. This painting sure does make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it, Professor? Let's see. A bit like tangled, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. Things, yeah. Oh. Oh. Ta -da. <laughs> it kind of looks like there is someone sitting in the bed. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> hey, look at all those stuffed animals and toys. Whoever made these stuffed animals appears to have put quite their heart and soul into the craftsmanship. 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 Yes, I know. I just uh, ran out of breath, Taylor. Jeez, point it out. Professional voice <laughs> Oh, my giddy art. <laughs> That's 
Was that three? Was yes. there was there one over here? There was yeah. You've no, got it. You've got them all. Have I? I believe so. Are you yeah. sure? I don't think there was a third. Mm, oh, blue. Oh. That means Wait, we get blue. What does blue mean? It means we we zoom in. Yeah. We zoom. Uh, okay. That's just gonna take us outside again, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I, I, I guess. Look, Professor, that door over there looks like the way forward. Or not? Indeed. But first of all, oh. let's investigate this room a little, shall we? I mean, honestly, I, I just thought it was gonna be like, look at that door, and then. Mm. <laughs> Uh, all right, I know you want us to to look at the oh, story, no. B. I was just checking that there wasn't a hint coin that I missed because I can't count, apparently. <laughs> Crikey! B b b b b professor behind that curtain! B there's someone there! Hmm. Yeah. Oh. 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 The mysterious figure turned out to be... Just a doll. Whew, that's a relief. Looks like a little mini Espella. Yes, with a little mm -hmm. mini grimoire. <laughs> ah, yes. My heart was in my mouth. Espella must have played with this doll as a child. It's a little weird giving your daughter a doll of herself. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's this? Look, Professor, there's a child's picture book here. Title is the first story. It would appear to be a handmade children's picture book. Yeah, I know, Professor. I, I, fig I figured that out. I just, I just told you. Said that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it was written especially for a speller. It may well have been. Or maybe a speller wrote it and she's been the storyteller oh. the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> Evidently, a great deal of loving care has gone into as blah, 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 has been put into the writing and illustrations. Oh no! There was a bad witch in the town. All of the carrots in the field disappeared, and all the money in the bank was turned into pump pumpkins. Pumpkins? <laughs> pump pumpkins. Why, why did you start stuttering? <laughs> no, turned into pumpkins. Yes, no, that's fine. The people of the town had to put up with all kinds of mischief from the witch. They didn't know what to do. Then, one day, a brave young girl appeared and said to the townsfolk, When the witch uses witchcraft, she always uses a big stick, doesn't she? So if we take away her stick... Will be able to stop her. After hearing this, the people of the town set a trap for the witch and managed to capture her. At her trial, the bad witch said this to the people Even now, the legendary great witch Bazella is living here in this town. Bazella is the queen of all the witches. She is the one who gives us witches life. The townsfolk punished the witch, and peace was restored to the town once more. I hate that I can't hear the word punish without thinking of Monokuma. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. To this day, Bazella is still hiding somewhere in the town. But the brave townsfolk will not be beaten by the bad witches. Naughty, naughty witches. Very naughty, naughty. Naughty. <laughs> I don't know why I did, did it as a storyteller. It just felt like it made yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's in the storyteller's tower, and, yeah. and the storytellers have father, so it kind of makes sense. Mm. Hmm. Who would have thought there would be such a fairy tale about Bazella? She's a mysterious character, all right. Helm, tell me, Luke. Why do you think the author chose to write about Bazella in a children's picture book? Huh? Well, maybe to make their child behave? I'm going to say certainly to educate a speller about it, mm. I guess. But Something like, if you don't do as you're told, Bazella will come and get you. 
Interesting though that it sort of specifically mentions about taking the stick away. Like, what lesson is that trying to teach? Apart mm. from, like, I don't know, anarchy a little bit. Anarchy. <laughs> well, I well, I suppose it's like take away someone's weapon and then they can't, they they won't be, they can't take cause away the trouble. source of their power and they can't retaliate. Maybe yeah. or something. <laughs> Still, not quite sure. Mm. Yes, indeed, that is a possibility. Still. I have to wonder, why is it that some lowly witch was caught, and not the great Bezella herself? Hmm. Well, I suppose it is a bit strange. If Bezella herself had been caught, the story could have been brought to a more conclusive ending. Do you think there's some other reason? I mean, unless they're trying to imply that Espella is Bezella, and but I'm still not quite sure what impact that would have. It's it's certainly a possibility. I don't suppose there are any other handmade picture books in the room apart from this one. Handmade picture books. I don't see any. I guess that must be the only one. Which would imply this book has some special significance. I guess <laughs> so. After all, it is handmade. I bet she tre I bet she really treasured it. Do you think it was the storyteller who wrote this book? Undoubtedly. The handwriting does seem very similar to that of the story. This book appears to have been written with a touch more care and attention, but I imagine it was the storyteller who wrote it. He must have written it as a gift from father to daughter. A gift, yeah. Sure. <laughs> She seems really thoughtful, even if the story itself is a little scary. I mean, I, I did, uh, <clears throat> after some careful thought, I took out the final panel where Bezella was, or the witch was lowered into the flames. <laughs> I thought that perhaps that might not go over. I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's, it's coming across a bit brainwashy to me. Mm. Like, I don't know. Brainwashy. <laughs> I'd like to take this book to a speller. Like he's specifically trying to educate, like he's specifically trying to like plant this idea in her head, mm. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. Let's do just that, Luke. We must take good care of it. Zoom. Okay. I'm gonna, no, we can't click on the, the little. No. Okay. Now you can click on the door. Yeah, I know. I just wondered if there'd be anything else. Like if we get a, if we get the hint coin from the doll, but nope. Alrighty. We already got on the hint coin. Well, you keep saying that, but I don't believe it. <laughs> I believe we've seen all there is to see here. <laughs> Let's. Well, Leighton agrees with me, so. Nyeh. Yeah, well, he doesn't. He doesn't comment on hint coins. <laughs> Let's press on, Luke. Oh, no, low resolution staircase can't hurt you. <laughs> it's not real. It can't hurt you. Ooh, Whoa! Okay. Oh, this, this is, um, took a turn. It's a little bit messy. Whoop. Wow. It's like a. Observatory. And I guess that was a cradle for when Nespedla was a baby? What, baby. in the at the far end there? Because yeah. like I say, I'm seeing it. The dangly bit, yeah. Oh right, yeah, okay, the moon thing. I didn't yeah. I didn't even notice that. The moon. Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't see that. Oof. I was too distracted by the piano with all the whatever's inside it. Can't tell if that's an illustration or just like scribblings. Mm. What do you make of this room, Professor? It's not very tidy. This appears to be the very top room of the tower. Hmm. The parchment lying on the floor here seems very similar to the type on which the storyteller writes his stories. I think we can say with some certainty that this is the storyteller's room. Huh? This is the storyteller's room? Hmm. I was imagining something a bit grander, like... A throne room with all kinds of posh decorations. Yeah, we've already... Oh, we've... I'm sorry. Would you care to show me your room at the top of your 500-foot tower? <laughs> I'm quite... Luke, I'm quite sure that we've already passed the throne room <laughs> on the way here. Which, if you recall from earlier in the game, they did. Mm -hmm. While I agree that it's a little eccentric, it's unmistakably the study of an author. He probably spent all his time in here continuously writing those stories. Huh. 
<laughs> Those silly, silly stories. <laughs> stories? I wonder what Aspella thought of, thought of it all. Her father writing stories for all the townsfolk, I mean. I wonder if she'd look forward to seeing the new stories completed. Or if she... Stories were probably a little too mature in content for a young child. Oh, yes, but watching people burn is not. <laughs> I don't imagine the storyteller would have shown a spell of many of them. Shown a spell of many of them. But in that case, surely she can't have had many opportunities to even talk to her father, given how busy he was. I guess that means she was pretty lonely. Wait, no, no, that makes it look like my entire presupposition about her having a happy childhood was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been hard for her, even knowing how important those stories are for the people of the town. But I don't think it's right. No child should be an unable to talk with their father. I absolutely agree, Luke. I believe it will be important in the upcoming trial to have an understanding of Aspella's feelings toward her father. Professor? Knowing you, Luke, I'm sure you must have a lot of things on your mind at the moment. So if there is anything at all that you want to talk about, you will tell me, won't you? Is Luke an orphan? Maybe. I say I don't know. Of course I will, Professor! I'm always ready to listen, Luke. Now then. Shall we start investigating this room? <laughs> and then it cuts back to the other. <laughs> oh, another doll. Oh, no. Fish. <gasps> a fish. It's a fish. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fish. Someone who's looking after the fish. Oh, no. The poor fish. Well, well, the fish is still alive. Oh, I suppose it's only been an evening. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> ah. Who's going to look after the fish? <laughs> the fishies. Burb. Okay. Let's, there we go. From the looks of this room, it appears the storyteller is quite the talented artist. Something about this Thank room you. really makes it feel a lot like the professor's study. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> we're Messy, <no> cramped. <laughs> I, I think we're nothing alike. Picture. Wow. There sure is quite a bit of light coming through that stained glass window, huh? Hmm. I wonder if this is actually the topmost part of the tower. Oh. Look, Professor! A photograph! Wait. I didn't think they even have photographs in this town. Look at this photograph. <laughs> no, but it's always been the yes, yes, it's yes, always yes. been the court sketch goblin. Yeah. Indeed. It's not the kind of thing one would have expected to find here. Too right. I certainly haven't seen any cameras about since we got here. There's no doubt that this photo, though. This is a photo. Uh, oh, sorry. There's no doubt that this is a photo, though. What could that mean? This may be in some way related to the tower being so closely protected. What do you see in the photograph, Luke? Um, there are two children, both young girls. Uh, oh, huh. it's oh, oh, oh. Huh. What? The photo looks quite old, doesn't it? And they both have pendants. They do. Yes. How interesting. Mm. And they're stood in front of the bell. Look at that smug yeah. expression on little Dark Law. <laughs> I just love She's the all, Spella's little face. Yeah, little it's cute so cute. Face. <laughs> and Dark Law has the half lidded like, smug, yeah, the yeah. smug face. She's, oh, yeah, always had that, I guess. <laughs> the photo looks quite old, doesn't it? I mean, I'd say no, but... Uh, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> He Luke. Is, he is little. <laughs> he is. He is. He is little. Bless him. I wonder who they are. Hmm. Well, one of them is surely a speller. There can be little doubt about that. She even has the plaits. Yeah. Hey, you're right. And look at that pendant. It's the same one a speller always wears. The fact that she's continued to wear it ever since shows just how important that pendant must be to her. What about this other girl? Do you think she's a friend of Aspella's? I, I, I am amused that they're not 
I know. The connection. Not it's like, are you serious? <laughs> She's got the same design. <laughs> no gold gauntlet, though. No. <laughs> Indeed. I'd wager the two of them were rather close friends at that. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> they do look pretty chummy, all right. See, they even have the same pendant. <laughs> what is it? I have something to tell you. I was your father's brother's uncle's cousin's former roommate. <laughs> what does that mean? Absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> which is what you are about to become. Uh, I'm quoting Spaceballs, by the way. I may be slightly misremembered. What's Spaceballs? No! Taylor, no! <gasps> we have to educate him. Yeah, we must educate him. <laughs> Those of you oh, in the no. comments who know what Spaceballs is, if you would be so kind as to educate our dear friend Taylor. <laughs> May the Schwartz be with you. And we will we will educate him ourselves at some point. <laughs> well, a glimpse. don't make promises you can't keep. I, I, I'm not. A <laughs> glimpse into a speller's past. This may well prove to be an important clue. I would like to ask her about it face to face. Let's... Borrow it for the time being. Oh, yeah, let's blow a mind with a photograph. Yeah. Like, that sketch is very realistic. Oh, He's my a witch. God. He's a witch. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if they can take pictures like this, then what job will I have? No. Oh, oh no. no. I wonder if there are any other clues knocking around. <clears throat> Sorry, sip of water. <laughs> well, I'd say the something that you thought you saw moving earlier is a point worth pursuing. But isn't this the last room in the tower? I must have be just been imagining things. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Those books at the far end kind of look like they might be a staircase. And there's well, that, they do and a little bit. And there's a bit like at the top left that kind of looked like a... a what do you call it? Like, uh, I can't... I can't... My brain's just... no nope. ladder? Balcony looking balcony. thing? Yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean in a sec. Not necessarily, Luke. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a way of getting beyond even this room. Let's look around more closely. Right you are, Professor. Okay. Uh, oh no, maybe it's not a balcony. Okay, I'm stupid. But this kind of, that kind of looks like a staircase. Mm. But it's probably not. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I mean, there's this thing? No. Uh, piano. Oh, piano. Oh. Oh. oh, place but certain notes on the piano and then a special <laughs> contraption. Mm. Oh, this is... What is it, Luke? This letter on top of the piano. E. This was evidence during that <laughs> trial. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> that trial, my boy? Yes, the trial about Sir Belduke's death. The trial when you were... Ah. You mean when I was turned to gold? In which case, this letter is the one that the storyteller's owl, Hoot, gave us after we last paid him a visit. Well, yes it is, but that letter was completely blank, wasn't it? Ah, indeed it was. That was meant to be Sir Belduke's suicide note, which he'd addressed to the storyteller. His suicide note, you say? Sir Belduke's butler swapped the letter for some plain sheets of parchment before it got delivered. And those blank sheets were given to us by Mr. Hoot, who knew something was strange about them. <laughs> Mr. Hoot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hoot. I see. I certainly missed out on some intriguing developments during my absence. The real suicide note was revealed at the trial. But how has it ended up here? Well... I imagine that's quite simple, Luke. It's likely that after the trial finished, the letter was returned to its rightful owner. It was addressed to the sto it was addressed to the storyteller after all. Right. <clears throat> I guess that does make sense. I suppose the storyteller finally had a chance to actually read it then. Hmm. Yes. In fact, it would be reasonable to assume that he most likely did so. Very recently. Perhaps even today, while sitting at the piano. What on earth was going through his mind here before that final parade? <sighs> There's something we're not seeing here. 
We need to investigate this closely, Luke. What could it be? Surely this is not a trap of some kind. It's unlikely that a trap would be so obvious. Just a moment. There's some... There's some kind of puzzle in this piano. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, no. Hopefully it's not going to take us forever. I <laughs> know. We're getting near the okay. end. Musical score. Okay, Pete. You're okay with music. A <laughs> little bit. Jeez, don't, like, big me up too much. 50 per carats. Below the stained glass window is written, When the stars have aligned, the goddess shall pluck her harp, bringing forth her serene song. Rearrange the musical oh. notes to create a That's lovely a... melody. Sorry, no, I just saw it for a second. It, yeah, like, yeah. it like flashed up the notes. Okay, yeah. Right, so. Uh, oh, oh, okay then. Oh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm confused Watch, now. watch no, the yeah, screen. Watch, watch. watch. Look. Once they have aligned. Yeah, okay, so that one's there. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it goes down, up. Up. And I guess at the end, it's like up quite high and then down to the sort of, maybe this this sort of way. So let's have a look. The dun, highest dun, dun, point, dun, dun, the fourth dun, one. Dun, dun. Hang on. Yes. It yeah. is. And then I think there was this one. It's annoying because it's so quick. I kind of can't quite, I can't quite see it. So hold up. If I go memo, no, it keeps spinning. Of course it does. Okay. Okay, I think they might be right. So then it's the latter set. So now we're just gonna yeah. wait again. So I can only concentrate on so much of it at once, so now I'm going to have to compare the last the last few. There's obviously quite a large drop-off from these two, so I think yeah, they are right. I think the last two are right, it's just these. Or is it a neck? Like, duh, duh, duh. So, so high, it's, low. Is it, is it this? Duh, duh, duh. Duh, 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 duh. That doesn't feel right. Hang on. Are the two middle ones the same? They are. Yeah. I think that's it. I think it looks. I it looks all right to me. But hmm. wait, I think I've got it. Yay! There we <laughs> go. Good job. Oh, I see you're solving that one again, eh, Professor? <laughs> Poor Luke. <laughs> <clears throat> Superb. A loud bang rings through the ceiling as the celestial globe adorning the ceiling begins to move. Oh. Nice. Where was the little tune? She didn't make the noise. I know. I was expecting a little jingle. Yeah. <laughs> How rude. Oh, oh, a mystery staircase. <laughs> mystery staircase. <laughs> Look, Professor. A stairway just appeared. Could there be another room above this one? <laughs> I have a Luke. feeling that the rooftop we saw from the garden continues above here. Oh, well, I can see what you mean, Professor. It's, it's really dark in here, but moonlight seems to be coming in from up above. Well, there's no turning back now. The answer to the biggest mystery of all is surely waiting for us ahead. And then it's going to cut away. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too, Professor. I wonder what on earth it could be. The next step in the storyteller's story, if I'm not mistaken. The next step? But the story is already finished, hasn't it? Not yet, Luke. It's still a little too soon for the ending. Ooh. Oh, we've got the suicide. No oh, no. Oh, no. Is it? Oh, my God, it's not. Oh, no, 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 no. No, they've gone up. Like, what? Okay. Excuse me? <laughs> Wait a minute. Doppelganger. I had a feeling that you, of all people, would make it this far. <gasps> it's you! I thought so. So, you're still alive. Professor Layton, I've had enough of your running around, flagrantly contravening the flow of my story. As such, 
I can no longer ignore your meddling. Nice, 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 but also uh, and suddenly uh, combat. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, that the storyteller writes is determined to come true. Yes, it. Your opponent's attacks are no exception. Memorize the storyteller's tale and deflect your opponent's predetermined moves. The little grumpy, eh? grumpy late. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy knights will appear in accordance with the storyteller's tale. Memorize the order of their attacks and deflect them using the knight's own moves against them. <laughs> oh my god! So is this like Simon Says then, I guess? This is of. funny. I like it. It's like, well, you have to know what move counters what. Yeah. So, I'm afraid your role in the story ends here, Professor. Now, allow me to write the tale of your demise. The knight drew his blade. As the battle came to a close, he raised his blade overhead and delivered the finishing blow. Down, horizontal, forward, up. Down, down, horizontal, forward, up. There got we it. go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Yes! <laughs> well played, Professor. But how will you fare in this tragic tale? I was not expecting a boss fight in this game. Cut. I really, I really <laughs> I wasn't. Cutscene straight into puzzle. <laughs> a new knight stepped in for his fallen comrade. He slashed quickly, delivering three blows before finishing the battle with a three-hit combination attack. Side B up. cancel into up A. Dang it, Taylor. So I, 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 I missed that. I... A circle to oh no! Circle. A circle to start with. I I missed it because of the 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 joke. Um, you can hit restart. Can we? Will it? Will it? Let's see. Start over from the beginning. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. It was, I know it was spin. Well, I guess. Spin. Down. Spin. Down. Slash. Slash. <laughs> Well, soon find I out. I don't know. I... If we lose Nipper Carrots, it's Taylor's fault. Oh, it's my fault. Taylor's fault. He was doing the talkie. Oh, no. Sorry. Okay, so, Sarah, it's not your fault. Okay, so, stop. Shh. Spin, down, forward, forward, down, spin. Wrong way around. Spin, down, forward. Sorry, spin, spin down, forward, down, down. Forward, 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 spin, spin down. down. <sighs> Sorry, got it in the wrong way. Sorry, it wasn't you. Taylor spoke. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's down, spin. Oh, dang it. Spin. Okay, sorry. Spin, down, forward, forward, forward down, spin. Spin, down, forward, forward, down, spin. Spin. Well, let's watch. Spin. Down. 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 Slash, slashed. Oh, they changed oh, the order. Oh, it's changed. Oh, oh no. no. And we were... Oh, crap! Uh, okay, okay. For God's sake. <laughs> uh, um, okay, I'm going to have to just hit the... Oh, for God's sake. Because I miss... I, yeah, okay. So we do need we, need... we definitely need to pay attention. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was... Yeah, that was... That was 100%. Uh, what the hell? That was intentional. That was, <laughs> was, was, that was actually quite... <laughs> Unexpected. You looked, you looked like you were really struggling for a attention. second, and then all of a sudden <laughs> you just you just wiped the floor. Oh God, what the hell? What the? What the freak? 
think you worked it out, do you? Let us see if you can predict the ending of this final chapter. Oh Never <laughs> underestimate the skill <laughs> of a true gentleman. I just press a few buttons in a random order. Okay, <laughs> okay all right. Okay, concentration, right, so guys. Everyone, so shush. As he attacked, he began to vanish into thin air, his moments veiled in the embrace of the shadows. Okay, now watch carefully. Oh, I. Oh. <laughs> All right, then. Uh -huh. Down. Uh, spin. Yeah, spin, forward, sweep. Let's say up, down, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, oh no. So close. And it's supposed to be the other way. Oh, no, it's going to change, isn't it? Horizontal, let's like, sweep, down. Point forward, sweep. I, I kind of I'm just, just I kind of yeah I kind of just lost it. I think it was I think it was the yeah. right one. Oh. Sorry, Tails. Oh, spin. I think he came down I think first. Swish, spin. See, I thought it was sweep, spin, down, thrust, on, sorry. and sweep, then spin, up, spin. Down, thrust, thrust, up, spin. Okay, maybe. Spin was the la was last, I think. Oh, oh, no. oh dang it! I almost. Almost. Okay. <clears throat> so hang on. So sweep is the light slash, and spin is this full spin, is what yeah. we're going to call it. Mm -hmm. So forward, sweep, forward, down, forward, something. So what was it? Forward, sweep, forward, down. Uh, forward, sweep, forward, down, forward, forward up. Forward, up. Okay. Yes. yes, it's that's you know, my boy. <laughs> my bad memory is just like makes these things I, real I, we've hard. We've all got terrible memory here. Uh huh. <laughs> Nothing can beat the power of a true gentleman. <laughs> that was truly magnificent, Professor. Thank you, that my boy. Was, that was kind of impressive. Oh, actually. my boy, Oop. my 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 handsome boy. <laughs> <laughs> that could be gallant well, as ever. <laughs> done, Luke. Well, that's us done then, I guess. <laughs> That'll be you one day, Luke. Oh, I do hope so. You look so cool, Professor. Right, thank you. <laughs> and I couldn't have done it without your help, my boy. Oh, thanks, Professor. Marvelous. In this case, it would seem that the pen is not stronger than the sword. Oh. I'm back. Uh, professor! Behind you! That was close. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Storyteller, I'm afraid that the power of your pen is no longer absolute. <sighs> <laughs> oh, <I think laughs> so, so many cutscenes today. <laughs> oh, I think the storyteller was a little bit miffed at the end of that um, growl. Yeah. <laughs> You never fail to impress me, Professor Leighton. He certainly not failed to impress me. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's had a neuron activation or two or ten. Did you see Just... how that guy moves? Like, <laughs> Cartoon face to me. <laughs> Sorry, Taylor, go on. One thing. What exactly are you trying to achieve? You could say. I'm trying to lift the veil that hangs over the town. If that is indeed the case, the answer lies in the final story. This very evening, the Great Witch Bezella will be tried, and all stories will end. You should take your place at the gallery and observe the final trial. Permit me. 
if I may, to ask you a question, Mr. Storyteller. Why is it that you are here? This is my house. <laughs> Fair. I'm not sure what you were expect. What? You too should be watching in the gallery. Watching as your twisted story unfolds. It's like, did you not see that I died? <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm dead. <laughs> my twisted story? What do you mean by that? You must surely be aware that your story has already become twisted. Oh, wait, does he not know that he was killed? Oh. Wait a minute. Take our arrival in this town, for instance. Not to mention our being here at this very moment. Neither of these things could have happened in the story you wrote. In other words... What I am saying is that you are no longer the weaver of the tale. Oh. Huh. Hmm. 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 It is as you say. The story I crafted has indeed been twisted out of proportion by someone else's actions. I'm not surprised that you realized. It seems nothing passes by those sharp but blank. <laughs> but, su <laughs> but surprisingly small and very round. Not, in, in fact, Eyes. quite blunt, in fact. <laughs> Unnoticed. Hmm. Are you like a gyroid from Animal Crossing or something? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's that harsh to say about my boy. <laughs> that is exactly why I decided to write the grand finale. To prevent any further distortion. Do you mean to suggest that by ending the story, you could return this town to its original state? To its original state, you say? I am afraid that is not the case. The entire truth behind Labyrinthia is sealed by a single spell. That's right, in the final spell. The final spell, you say? That is what I said, yes. <laughs> when that spell is invoked, Labyrinthia's true form will become clear to all. What kind of spell is that? A final one. Ultima! That is the <laughs> Ultima, Jesus. From the deepest pit of the seven hells to the pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble! <laughs> the final spell. <laughs> Ultima. <laughs> Ultima. It is... A spell that has always been hidden within plain view. What's that supposed to mean? I thought spells were spoken. <laughs> you can't see words. <laughs> Unless they're written down, obviously. <laughs> you, you can't see. You shush! I can't see while I'm also trying to read things. <laughs> you can't see words. Oh, dear. <laughs> Essentially... The final spell is concealed at the start. I mean you can't see spoken voice. Yes. <laughs> Unless it's a comic. Why did his mouth move know, for yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I know it's like... <laughs> <"Bup."> <laughs> He's like... <"Bup."> <laughs> Sorry, burp. The final spell is concealed at the start. He was just, um, he was just moistening his dry lips, that was all. What on earth are you talking about? Pah. I thought you two took it upon yourselves to unravel mysteries, do you not? Do what you will with it. Very well. Now then, I believe there's just one more thing that you may wish to hear from me. And what would that be? I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, what would you say if I told you that this twisting of your story is leading towards a grand finale quite different to the one you had planned. What do you mean? Hmm. This evening, you supposedly gave up your life to the great witch Bezella, did you not? As a result, the person thought to be Bezella is being tried in court at this very moment. Now, if you'll permit me to ask, do you happen to know the name of the accused? Naturally, I wrote the name myself, 
There can be no question. And he's going to say Kira. Mm -hmm. Of course, the name of the accused Dark is. <laughs> no, I was going to. He's going to be Kira. Mm. Espella Cantabella. Oh. Uh. What? What are you saying? You. You mean my Espella is? Yes. The accused at this evening's trial is none other than Espella Cantabella. That can't be. That's preposterous. Yeah. Mm. This is your doing. What have you done, Leighton? You ask me what I have done, Mr. Storyteller? I am but a solver of puzzles and mysteries. I do not concern myself with scheming. My Espella. Why? How is she the accused? Perhaps you ought to go and see for yourself, Mr. Storyteller. Damn it, it's going to be a three hour ride down this elevator. Damn, <laughs> damn! <laughs> damn me and my pension for drama! <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea to just stand here lamenting your daughter's fate? Huh. What's to be done? Well, well, Mr. Storyteller, the good news is that I brought some parachutes. No, I only brought two, mind you, so one of us is going to have to get cozy. <laughs> well, Mr. Storyteller, I will be I, I will be returning to court to the court. My God, if only I could read, right? Well, Mr. Storyteller. <laughs> well, you can't see words, so I get. I it. will be returning to the court. <laughs> I, <clears throat> I'd like to witness this grand finale with my own eyes. Hmm. Ah, yes. Before I. <clears throat> Before I leave, there is just one thing I'd like to make clear. He's like, can't touch this. I do not intend to simply take my place in the gallery and observe the trial. Naturally, there is only one place for me to stand in order to unravel all these mysteries. You... You mean to say that you will stand as the defender? <laughs> Unfortunately, the defender's position is already taken. Moreover, Mr. Storyteller, I am the one who knows the truth. The true identity of the great witch Bazella, that is. Oh, he does. How? How can you know? There is only one place at which I should stand in order to assert that, assert such a fact. And that is not on the side of the defense. Oh, is this where the versus, is this where the versus bit happens? <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh, Sh really? Surely you can't mean. <gasps> I anticipate seeing you again soon, Mr. Storyteller. Holy moly, is it actually going to verse? Oh, oh my they're beginning God. to versus. <laughs> they're beginning to they're versus. Begin <laughs> they're beginning to versus. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, okay. <laughs> it's versusing time. <laughs> it's versusing time. It's not quite yet, though. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Oh, yeah, because the save. Yes, we can save. We can save. We can now. save. And so that means, <laughs> unfortunately, everyone, you're going to have to wait. Yes, unfortunately, it is this. It's that time once again. It is. I know we sound gleeful. We're not really, because we <laughs> do, we do want to continue. But it's like but, so exciting. <laughs> but, but alas... We have run over the allotted time. Yes, unfortunately so. But and thank you very much for tuning in and watching. If you do like what we do, then please consider giving us a like, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell. You'll be notified of our videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And in the meantime, share the channel with your friends, share the videos, watch the other videos. Yeah, tell everyone. Tell yeah. your friends if you would like, if you want to, yeah. and if they like it, if you like it. Yeah. And until next time. We'll see you again. Catch you in the next one, everybody. Oh, I can't wait. And remember, there is no one writing your fate for you. So go out there and write your own story for yourself.